Hey, what's going on guys? This is SAS Master and my name is George Aguilar and today I just bought Notify from SAS Mantra. This is a lifetime deal where you're getting a pretty good deal and the price is $59. So let's just do a quick overview and let's go head over to the dashboard and check out Notify, Notify for ourselves. Okay, first thing I gotta say is I paid for this. I don't work for SAS Mantra and I don't work for Notify. This is an unbiased review. So this is the, the specs from Notify, but the most important part is down here, which is unlimited campaigns, unlimited domains, so you can have many domains and you can use your social proof app with this. Right now we're gonna head over to the limitations. All widgets are included, all features are included, no branding, option to hide. So you gotta take that little button to hide it. 50K unique visitors a month. So that's 50,000 unique visitors. What is this and how? why is this important? because this is how it works. If someone goes to your website and they go to a whole bunch of other pages like your blog, your cus your um, notifications, your contact and all that, it's gonna count as one visit. So that's unique visitors. So 50K is a pretty good number. But if you need a stack, we just buy more, like it says right there. Okay, future updates and integrations are included. So the whole deal goes with this thing. Okay, this is Notify. This is our main uh, site. This is a portal. And we are going to log in, which I am already inside. First thing that Notify is going to make you do is install a script. This is the HTML script that Notify tells you to install on your site. And this is, these are the instructions on doing it, depending on what you're going to do it with WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, custom HTML, and all the other ones. And I, I did this on WordPress. Here it is, I installed the, the plugin. You can do this directly on your HTML or do it with this plugin really easy. Put the script right here for header and this is my site. This is a classified ad site that I have right here. And let's get this baby started. We're gonna do this together. And this is add a new campaign. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna do test. We're gonna go next, which site is it? Okay, this is my site. We're gonna copy the link, put it here. And go next and here are the widgets that are available conversion feed email collection conversion summary call to action there's a bunch of promises of many widgets coming soon you, let's check this out really quick and here we go there's one here coming soon multiple language support coming soon artificial intelligence optimization coming soon a b testing and all this is going to be included with this with this purchase that we made from sas mantra okay other things that we have, we have activations, revenue. The, see, you can see there's nothing here yet. Retention, that's gonna come. Referrals, legal, and all that kind of good stuff. So let's do some tests right here. And what I found out is that we can select uh, as many widgets as we want for the website. So for example, I'm gonna do an email collection. We're gonna do a conversion summary and Let's see what else we got here. Well, let's just try this activation. I, I'm new in this. I'm not an expert on the app. We are doing this together. You check it out for yourself. So I've select, selected these three. I am gonna now launch campaign. And here we go. These are the three widgets that I have. There's a website. And now let's try to change the options for each one. Here's the email collection. And as we can see really clearly here, there's the top view of what it's going to look like. First, we got the close button option. Let's see, choose to display the close button on the widget. For me, personally, I like to have the close button option. I just want to remove it if I don't want to subscribe to a newsletter. And I, if I want to change what it says, something in Spanish, uh, Portuguese, uh, Chinese, whatever language I want, you can just do it there. And we're just going to put blah, blah, blah. Oh, put the blotch. Blah, blah. Okay, and you can see how it's updating by itself and it just tells you join our newsletter at 50%. I'm just gonna say 20%. These are just made up things. And you can change the input text place order, enter your email, blah, blah. If you wanna choose where do you want this triggered, you can change the pages. Where, when do we want this to display? This is the trigger. Do we wanna do it when he wants to exit? Do we wanna do it when when he's at so many seconds at the site, for example, if you want to wait 60 seconds for 
like one minute that means if the guy if someone is searching on your site and they, and they last more than a minute the pop-up will show but for this we're just going to do email opt-in for two seconds we're going to wait two seconds and it's just going to pop up or we can also do scroll at least so much percent of the page if we, if we put 50 percent, it's going to show when someone scrolls 50 percent. so if someone just visits your site and just bounces it's not going to show them anything and then we have the position. Where are we gonna position this? It's just got the square and we got the placement. I'm just gonna hit down right center and the email that we're gonna send this to and just hit save. Okay, we got a little green check mark. And on the bottom left, you can see settings saved. Okay, conversion summary. Let's hit the set settings for this. Same thing, options to, to close, hide branding, and custom name, we just put ads. Remember this is a classified ads, just put ads. Sign up for ads. Capture form, where are we gonna send these to? Just gonna put the same page. And this one, we're gonna put it on the bottom center, just so they don't display the same. Okay, and we're going to save this. Also updating, and last we got the trigger notification. It just says welcome to notify. In this place, welcome to ads. Well, let's just put my site and the Toledo. Okay, when is this gonna be triggered? We're gonna trigger this at 60%. Okay, 60%, and this is gonna show on the bottom left. There we go. This is just a basic notification. And we are going to save this. Okay, we got the three check marks on the three widgets I selected. Here is the site that I'm gonna use it in. And let's just put on campaign active. Now let's open the site and see how this is gonna look. Let's hit the incognito. Open our site. And remember we hit two seconds for the opt-in. There we go, two seconds. Here is our opt-in no uh, branding on it we got the x button right here to remove now we are going to scroll and something should pop up on the left i scrolled more than 60 percent and here we go welcome to Venetolito. here is the, the notification right there and the only one that we are missing is the third one which is conversion summary. Let's check out the options when it's going to trigger. It says show all pages on all pages. That's done. Capture form should be on the bottom center and it's not showing or it takes longer to show. I'm not sure. Let's see. Choose one or more pages where you would like to display and notify a widget. Okay, here's a Earl. Let's try it again. Okay, that's saved. Settings updated. Let's close our again and open another incognito tab and get this thing going. So two seconds and opt-in is gonna pop up. Oh, that didn't pop up, but now the call to action just popped up. Here is the other one. It displayed in a little bit, but it went away, but it, it did pop up. Not sure if there's some settings where we, where we tell it how many seconds we want it to appear and when to disappear. But the email opt-in did not pop up anymore. So that's a pretty weird thing. Let's uh, remove this one right now and should be changed. Let's see if that worked. Remember, there might be some bugs. Uh, that's why it's in a lifetime deal because we, the users, get to test this and see um, how it works and tell the guys, hey, something, something's going on and fix it. And they're just testing with us. So we get a sweet deal for helping them out. Let's try it again. Remember, I removed the call to action. So the opt-in should pop up now. And it should be popping up in two seconds, but it didn't. So. Clear, clearly there's a bug there because it was appearing now it's not and scroll more than 60% here's the other widget right here so something is wrong with the opt-in okay 
well there's just some little things that we gotta fix um maybe i did something wrong maybe in the comments somebody's just gonna tell me hey this is the problem or we fixed the bug let's just check it out okay so what else do we have here we got install script then we got the settings settings this is the overview of your email password reset enter promo code my code's already entered you can see right here sas mantra plan i paid for this they didn't give me anything and here we can, we can see like an overview of what other the other plans they have it's like 39 39 a month for just ten thousand visits 79 dollars a month for twenty five thousand visits so in sas mantra we're getting fifty thousand unique visitors a month for just fifty nine dollars just right here fifty nine dollars if you guys want to buy this i'm going to leave a referral link here on the youtube channel that will really help me out with the small commission and i hope this video helped you out so you can see like an overview of how it's going to work and what you're going to expect when you have your own account hope this helps hope it, it shows you if it's worth buying or not it's up to you thanks for watching guys this is sas man sas master my name is george aguilar and i'll see you guys later